No, okay, what? You want to kill this guy? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. My punches get a little out of control. You think my punches get out of control, Corb? Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and a shoot punch! kind of landed. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I gotta punch these guys. One, two, three, four. I hate it. Why do you have to push me so far away, bro? Two, three. Hold on. I gotta punch this guy, Corbin. I gotta punch him. He's gotta go. Everyone has to go. I really need to raise my resilience and uh, strength on this one. Hey, he's dead. I'm sorry I punched him to death. It happens. I'm not helping you. You're not helping me anymore? No. <laughs> so mad I keep killing him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death and Revive. Today, me and Corbin, we're going to show you this build I've got. This will be the first of my Destiny 2 build videos. If I do many of these, I don't know. I just have kind of stumbled on this one, and it's been absurdly good. Now, they did mention in the most recent, not patch notes, but preview of patch notes that... They're going to nerf the uh, shoulder charge one-two punch shotgun thing that you can get going. And I was like, oh man, I was kind of using that on my Titan a lot. And then I discovered this. That you can just Daddy, absolutely go nuts. Okay, hold on. Let me stop. I got to kill everything first though. Like, it's not working yet. You got to get five punches to get your maximum punch on. And then uh, you go punch, you go shoot the boss. You get a one-two punch going, and then you eviscerate the boss. It did a pretty good amount of damage. <laughs> you can definitely kill anything with one punch except for a boss. I'm going to call this the one-punch titan. That sound good, Corb? One-punch titan? Eh, decent. Oh, there, there you saw that. You saw the damage. You saw it. All right, let's take a look at the build while Corbin mops up the enemies. Get him, Corb. So, the one-two, or the one, maybe we'll call it the one-two punch titan. Yes, sir? You don't know which guy has the yellow circle? Oh, you trying to do a finisher? Yeah. Um, oh, probably... Oh, they probably all do. Boom! Hold on, I got you. Why did you kill that guy? How, uh, look, there's a lot more, sir. Have no fear. Slammy bro is here. I'll get the ball. Hey, Prime Ingram. Hold on. Oh, guys, we might be dead. I think we're dead. All right, let's take a look at the build. We'll talk about the one-two punch titan. To replace the one-two punch titan... Normally what I would do is run Last Man Standing, then you run uh, Peregrine Greaves and any type of Shoulder Charge Titan, and then you gotta practice running in, shooting and then Shoulder Charging real fast. Now they're nerfing that. You're not gonna be able to shoot and then Shoulder Charge. The Shoulder Charge will disengage, but well, that's not gonna work anymore. But I have an even, I think an even stronger build because I've been killing these Overlords solo faster than my one-two punch with the Peregrine Greaves. So what you do? What you do is, first of all, you want to go into your Gate Lord's Eye and you want to make sure you have Thunder Coil. You can only do this on a Titan. You can't do it on the other two classes, which, you know, I think the, uh, the old Peregrine Greaves is kind of a Titan thing anyway. So, Daddy, yes, sir. Oh, I'm balls. sorry. Hold on. So, anyways, the Worm God Caress, Thunder Daddy, Coil, Bottom me. Tree Titan, Daddy, and a one two punch shotgun. You got about a split second. You get about five punches. And then you got a split second to put a massive amount of damage on the boss. Let me just go ahead and give him some shotgun. But uh, you got to have a lot of enemies around. That's why it's been working really well in the uh, Vex Invasion. Because I can go into a group of them like this and just start punching. And once I get my knockout going, along with... Yeah, he's almost dead. We'll get him. We got a lot of time on this guy, Corp. He won't go anywhere. So, once you get a uh, five, the problem is when he gets really far away from enemies like that, you run out of time. So, the first guy doesn't die, but once you get your uh, frontal assault, one two punch, knockout burning, everything I'm saying is incorrect. Man, he's way over there. So, you're like, uh, uh. Give him all the fists, Corbin. All the fists. Ready? What? What? Oh, you trying? Are you trying to finish with these guys? Three, two, one, two punch. Oh, that was a good one. All right, let's finish him off. No, please. Oh, I didn't mean to. He just, he just 
did they leave or did he die? I'm confused. Oh, he escaped. Oh, no. He got away with such a small amount of health. So here's the build. You guys are on it. I have Thunder Coil down here on my uh, Titan Mark. I have the Worm God Caress. And what these do is they will give you... Oh, no. <laughs> He's dead. Uh, melee kills increase melee damage for a period of time. Additional kills extend duration and effects. I've got strength mods, but I've only got it up to level six. The strength mods aren't a, aren't a necessity because frontal assault from your uh, striker tree is uh, active. Dragon Man with his melee to reload your weapon, increase both your weapon stability and weapon damage. So frontal assault is not really necessary. Knockout, critically wounding an enemy or breaking their shield increases your melee range and damage. That's what you want. You want knockout. And, uh,. Reversal's nice because that helps keep you alive while you're doing it. So you want knockout, then you want to get Worm God Caress, Thunder Coil. So those are all going to be active when you're killing a bunch of guys. Start punching the group, go to town, get five five kills because that's going to put you at maximum. And then go up to the boss, hit him with the one-two punch shot, and then punch him. And that punch is going to do an enormous amount of damage. Like, enormous. Now... I don't know that this is going to work on many other enemies. Maybe some strike bosses. Uh, it could definitely work depending on what the burns are and what you're doing. Hi, sir. Hold on, I didn't hit him. You did. But uh, it's definitely a Vex invasion thing that you can get going. You could definitely do this in the Vex, uh, the Vex incursion, the Vex, uh, the Vex assault. Is that what it's called? What is this thing called? Vex offensive. I can't remember the names of anything right now, Corp. Uh, you can definitely use in the Vex Offensive. It's a good replacement for the one-two punch Paragon Greaves combo. I don't know if once they patch that, they haven't patched it yet. They just said they're gonna. I don't know if once they patch it, if it will be something that we can get to, uh, get back to. But uh, I love the Worm God Caress one-two punch. That's been a, uh, a really, really fun build for just trash mobbing around, killing bosses, and having fun with Corbin. Hadn't it, Corbin? No, he's mad. <laughs> he's literally mad at me for killing all the bosses before he can... Or he wants to... Are you trying to finish here, these guys, Corb? Who's punching me? Oh, he's back. You always kill the goddamn Look at that. Knockout, burning fist, frontal assault, one-two punch. Get him, Corb. Here, I'll set him up for you. That guy's ready. That guy's dead. <laughs> Hold on. I, I got this one right here. Get him, get him both. Yeah, get him. One more, one more. Get him, get him. Yo, yo, go, go, go. Yeah, get him. Nice. All right, guys, what do you think? What's your best build right now in Destiny 2? Oh. What are you running as far as Shadow Keep goes? Corbin, what's your favorite build right now? You just like floaty warlock build? He gone. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm going to go find out what Corbin wants to do and uh, have some fun. So thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. Come out of the... Uh, I don't know. Check the links in the description. There'll be some stuff down there. Maybe live stream stuff. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you want to see. Daddy. Yes, sir. You've got to come down. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll come down there. Uh, I'm going to go see what he's doing. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and all the things, and I'll see you later. Oh. See ya. You want to say see you back, Corb? See you back. See you back.